This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Oh my god, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid. Well, to add to an already pretty dysfunctional video, looks like we have a dysfunctional narration to go along with it. Apologize if I sound a bit stuffed up and look ill right now. My lucky ass managed to get COVID twice. And this time, pretty much during the worst time of the year. Holiday is my birthday, so definitely getting a good old short end of the stick on this one. But I'm here to walk you through this video, and hopefully I can do so in a somewhat non-dysfunctional way, even though that's probably unlikely. So this video, it's, yeah, as the title says, pretty damn dysfunctional. I've said dysfunctional a lot this in this uh, narration already, and things are off to a rough start. So let me try to pick up the pieces here. Um, basically, went out in the neighborhood around Tacoma because I had uh, a little bit, a few more frames left in a roll of Portra in my Bronica SQ that I had brought down to California on a trip previous with Alicia and my housemate and his girlfriend. So I shot a little bit down there in the Bronico. Great to shoot that camera again. Haven't shot it in a long time. Show you some of those pictures here. I was also shooting a little bit uh, in my Olympus 35 RC with Fuji Industrial 100, which is a fantastic 35 mil film stock. So I had a few frames left in both the Bronica and the Fuji that I needed to kill before I brought my film into the lab. So in this video, I walked around Tacoma just try to pop off a few more um, frames to get those rolls finished and yeah battled my own ignorance the weather and a couple other fun little dicey factors along the way to get these rolls finished but um, ended up doing so and ended up getting some decent pictures I guess so without further without Jesus I need help without further ado let's get into the video all right so I'm starting out here 35th and Orchard Street. I was driving around, I saw a couple compositions here that I think I want to capture. And the first one actually being these leaves. Still some fall colors on the ground with these leaves, which is kind of crazy considering we're into December now. But uh, I feel like nowadays I'm always so focused on the vast landscapes and the broader pictures that I forget about the beauty and the smaller things. So I want to not be afraid to take those types of pictures. Gonna kill the roll of Porsche 400 in the Bronica first. I think we'll start out with that. All right, so of course, couldn't even get one shot off yet before it started raining. And film cameras and rain, I don't think mix particularly well. So not ideal what we got going on right here. Save the cameras. I found some more leaves on this grass that I like. So we're gonna give this a go. Kind of playing a waiting game right now. Just rain, wait in the car. When the rain stops, pop back out, get the picture. It's probably what it's gonna be like for the next couple of hours, but we'll make it work. I like this tree a lot in front of this house. Super cool, kind of draping branches and leaves. Just trying to finish this roll of portrait before the rain gets too intense. Well, this one would be a lot cooler if there was an old car parked in the driveway and not a Mazda 3 with a JDM sticker on it. But I think that'll still be pretty cool. All right, the rain's getting real bad. Probably gonna be the last picture before I go wait in the car again. So, let's pop this one off. I shot two compositions of this house, and while I'm still going back and forth on which one I like better, I'm starting to lean towards the second one, I believe. Although it may seem like the hanging tree branches and leaves make this photo a little bit more chaotic and clustered. I actually think the first image is more distracting just because of the various elements that are present in the first one that aren't in the second one, like all the foreground with the road in it 
the telephone wires on the top part of the frame. I was really drawn just towards this tree, the hanging leaves, and the house behind it. So in the second photo, I was able to isolate those two subjects a little bit more and really draw the viewer's eye right into the core of this image, which is the tree and the house. So as you can probably tell, after I got done shooting those two pictures of that house, it started raining pretty heavily. Cameras are very wet. So I decided to go back home, draft my camera gear, and regroup for a little bit. The rest of the day, the weather was just being very annoying, very indecisive. As soon as it looked like it was going to clear up, I'd head out in my car, try to go take some more pictures, and then it'd start raining again. So I'd go back home, and then it would clear up, and it was just back and forth. I got very frustrated, but eventually I just said, screw it, I'm going out, I'm finishing the role in the Bronica and the Olympus, so I headed to this area of North Tacoma neighborhood that overlooks the Puget Sound, looked like there were some cool compositions there and some cool houses as well, so I just pulled off there, roamed around the neighborhood a little bit, and finished both of those roles in that area. I wasn't really that jazzed on that shot, but that mailman was walking through the frame, so I had a, at least a somewhat unique element to it. This will be the last frame on the roll of Portrait 400 in the Bronica. This house is really cool. Okay, roll of Portra is donezo. <laughs> I threw the Olympus in my pocket and damn near forgot about it. Oh, 35 mil cameras, you're so cute. I'm oh, just a local photographer. Yeah. Ah, uh, just old vehicle, and I just like taking pictures of old cars and stuff. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, I just moved here like six months ago, so I've just been exploring and stuff. It's nice. And, That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I just, I like kind of pull up to an intersection and just like walk around the block and see what I find, but there's so much around here, so my grandma grew up in, in this area actually and she, she just tells me all the time oh you got to go out here you got to go out there there's all these cool there's places that, I mean, so in north end there's there's some huge mount mansions that 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 go way down in oh there, really yeah, they go a few stories Whoa. Down. Yeah, I, I, i'm a plumber and i've been through oh yeah it's just like there's it's so cool oh it's that's so awesome cool. very cool well, I'm well, out of here, though. okay pleasure talking to you take yeah you too You might notice that a lot of these shots in the Olympus look a little bit blurry, fuzzy, maybe even out of focus. It was getting late in the day, I was losing light pretty quickly and I had that Fuji Industrial 100 in there. So in order to compensate for that slow film speed, I had to slow my shutter speed way down, shooting a lot of these at 1 30th, 1 15th of a second even. I knew that they weren't going to turn out, but decided to shoot these compositions anyway. And you could maybe try to do an artistic spin, justify the beauty a little bit by saying they kind of look like a painting, you know, they got the soft aesthetic to them, but in reality, yeah, I know that they suck and I know that they're garbage and that's okay. Just one of the, you know, conflicts you run into when shooting film, you got half a roll left or a fourth of a roll left and you want to get the pictures back, but you don't want to just shoot a bunch of blanks, so you kind of just half-ass a bunch of pictures. 
done it more times than I can count. And this is just another one of those instances. And on the theme of kind of sucking, when I got back home after finishing both of the rolls, I was unloading my gear, organizing things, and I decided that I wanted a video shot of me uh, releasing the or pulling the canister out of the Olympus for some reason. So in the midst of the chaos and in the midst of trying to organize everything, I set up a video shot and just forgot to rewind the film back into Whoa. the canister. So opened the film door on my Olympus and to uh, to my pleasant surprise, I saw that the roll of film was just blatantly exposed to the kitchen light and in the moment I was very frustrated I was about I just about had it with that day whoa I am so fucking stupid holy fuck I'm so stupid oh my god for whatever reason luckily the maybe it was just the subdued light that I was in or the fact that it was the last frame of the roll um, I actually didn't end up losing anything and maybe like picture and a half or something the last couple of frames um, in the roll nothing I didn't lose anything from California or Disneyland that's all I really cared about so that was good news in the end but in the moment I was pretty pissed off as you can probably clearly see oh my god I'm so stupid I'm so stupid I'm so god fucking damn it fuck. so fucking stupid Brady. you're so stupid how how do you forget to do that? I gotta set up a video shot and get me unloading this roll of fucking film because I'm fucking YouTube and I'm. And I figured the only way to deal with that situation was to crack open a cold pint of Guinness and drown myself in my sorrows. And drown myself in my sorrows, I did. I poured myself a cold glass, went out in the hot tub on a nice stormy Washington afternoon, and just loathed in self-pity and it felt pretty damn good if I'm being completely honest so yeah you know this this day this photo outing didn't really go as I had hoped it would but that's real life you know and although people are getting better about sharing their um, failures and, and being honest on social media I still feel like it's a lot of filtered content it's a lot of uh, you know only showing your successes and you know, there, I definitely, I'm not going to lie, I thought about scrapping this video entirely just because it really didn't pan out the way that I had planned, but that is the way things go sometimes. So I'm here to be honest and show you guys kind of what happens from every, uh, what happens every once in a while and it's just the truth. So yeah, don't let those uh, roadblocks deter your creative process. It's all the successes are much more worthwhile after you've had some failures leading up to them so that's kind of the outlook that I have on things but man I, I know it can get plenty frustrating at uh, at certain times so yeah well this photo outing may have sucked you know what doesn't suck today's sponsor and that is Squarespace <laughs> gotcha I've been using Squarespace for almost five years now I host two websites with them both my personal portfolio and my wedding films website it's a powerful all-in-one tool that lets you create a professional website market your business host a portfolio, sell products, and so much more. Squarespace has a ton of aesthetic templates to choose from, and editing the contents of your site could not be simpler. The e-commerce integration allows you to get your business off the ground quickly and easily with tools like inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. The customer service is responsive and helpful as well. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com slash Bray, or use code Bray at checkout to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The link and information is in the description below. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to this week's video back on the weekly upload schedule. Glad to be here. If you have any questions, need to get in touch, comments are open, Instagram DMs are open. See ya on the next one. Peace.